Hello everyone, Elrond here with part 15 of my Minecraft 1, 2, 3. And so, my favorite of all of the mods I had lined up for 1, 2, 5 that uh, don't work for 1, 2, 3. Actually, technically, none of my mods worked for 1, 2, 3, but um, in any case, the biggest thing I'm missing out for not being on 125 right now is the mod that turned creepers completely senile. Yes, I got I got the big fix that made it so that when a creeper comes up to point blank range, he does not expand and explode. He kind of just derps out and stares at you like a cat. Creepers weren't so bad um, with that mod active. I, I kind of like them just hanging around and giving me uh, free gunpowder if I cared for it. Although that's the thing. I don't tend to like explosives. Um, I don't end up ever blasting anything. And let's see. I think at this point I discovered some diamond... Um, out in the distance, so I'm trying to mine my way across to safety past these um, lava. And we need to go one more out, and yep, confirmed, that's diamond over there. It looks kind of like the lapis, only it's more of a cyan than a deep blue. Um, now, diamonds are so precious we have to be abundantly cautious like so cautious that I'm not going to um, go against those cautions even though I'm supposed to be a reckless survivalist because while I am extremely reckless I'm not that stupid um, diamond is extremely rare and precious and we must treat it as such so proper protocol for um, dealing with diamond aside from making sure that no creepers are going to spawn in the process and um, rape you while you're not looking which is what we're working on right now I guess so the first thing that we're going to do after that is we are going to mine all of the blocks around the diamond now the goal behind this is to ensure with absolute certainty that right after you mine the diamond it does not fall into a pit of lava and turn to pumpkins. So the worst thing that could possibly ever happen is you mine your piece of diamond and watch it fall and melt into lava. I've seen grown man break into tears because of such a thing that happened to them. All you grown men out there, you don't want to break into tears over something like that, do you? No, I didn't think so. So, take the extra two minutes. Take your cautions. Be paranoid like me. And mine around so that you know exactly what it's getting itself into. All right. If I have not scared you, then I did not adequately do my job. But if you feel prepared, then maybe that's a redeeming uh, factor. Um, anywho... Once we're done mucking around with iron and coal and all kinds of lesser components, we'll make our way back over to that diamond and properly mine it out. Suspense uh, is kind of killing me, although I know exactly what's going to happen. Um, anywho, got some more iron. Of course, that's going to turn into more iron. No, it's not. Interesting. Lone wolf iron. All right. Then I'm even getting distracted by the gold. I, 
I am really having ADD today, aren't I? I guess this was a couple days ago, but um, you get the idea. <coughs> Anyhow. Oh, more iron. Alright, so we're making ourselves a nice little perimeter. And then we'll want to also see the blocks that are directly under it as well, because that's where the biggest threat lays. But first we're going to establish that um, perimeter along the top. And might as well pick up the iron while we're here. And do more iron. And how about that? Iron under the diamonds. And we got another layer of diamonds down there. But at this point, these two close ones we know are safe because we know that diamonds are on the other side and stone is below. So I feel perfectly safe mining all these. And now we go back to diamond protocol. And now we know that the block down there is safe. So we can mine with safety. And technically, I'm going overkill right now. I didn't have to do all that other stuff because we knew that nothing was going to happen at that exact moment. But um, I ended up going extra cautious. So now we've got this lapis here. And we've got some more lapis. And it's gone. So, kids, you saw what happened to the lapis? That's what will happen to your diamonds if you don't play it safe. All right, so now we've got ourselves our first bits of diamond. Now, if I was a sensible individual, I would make my diamond pickaxe right now. But I am not a sensible individual, apparently. I'm going to just continue doing my thing. And I may have even left an offshoot branch completely unexplored, or at least unmined. And that's now kind of bugging me. And now I think I'm looking for the way back. Ah, I see I'm doing the other sensible thing, getting back home. Bringing the diamonds back to the base. But I am at this point a little on the lost side. Oh, here we are. But then I find some iron. And technically, I found that iron at least 20 minutes ago, but didn't do anything about it because I needed to light the place up, and one thing leads to another, and that's how iron doesn't get mined. So now we are going to close this off and continue doing our token amount of mining to get to the end hall. And. Yeah, this is all extremely wide open, as we were kind of half expecting. And really, this this entire direction of the branch has kind of become a lost cause. I don't think I'll ever end up actually mining, mining in this direction. I mean, at least continuing going the way that I've mined out um, in the main hall. I may mine out the opposite direction of the main hall to kind of give it more of um, like a if to the left of me right now is you know east I'll go west instead type of deal so I think that direction might be salvageable and it looks like I'm still going to try to go with my normal exit strategy even though we um, are gonna have a lot of uh, reconstruction to do. I'm not sure why I'm wasting my time with this secondary hall because it should be known that's gonna be a lost cause. But in any case we are reaching the tail end of this video so um, I'll see you next video.